Hi everyone, Succulents Box here. Growing succulents is not only about watering, soil mix, or sunlight, it's also about choosing a proper pot for your succulents. A good pot can make it so much easier for you to take care of your plants and help give them a long and fruitful life. When it comes to succulent care, choosing the most suitable pot can be quite a challenge. Their watering needs are different from common plants, so there are certain criteria you should consider when buying pots. Keep in mind that the perfect pot doesn't need to be visually appealing just to add interest into your home, but should also be breathable, have proper drainage, and just enough space for them to grow. So to help you decide which one is best for your particular needs, we've broken down everything you need to know to look for in a planter. If you've watched some of our other videos, then you are already aware that succulents do not like a lot of water. So no matter the design of your planter, as long as it doesn't have good drainage, you'll risk your succulent having root rot as excess water will just pool at the bottom of the pot with nowhere to go. In other words, the best pot for your succulents are the ones with drainage holes at the bottom. Now, if the one you have doesn't have a hole at the bottom, you can simply drill a hole in one or use it as is, as long as you water sparingly and keep an eye on your plant. Adding lava rock at the bottom is also a good way to increase drainage. This prevents soil from spilling out and also creates crevices for excess water to drain into. Believe it or not, the size of the pot also matters when it comes to a succulent's pot. Avoid pots that are too big, as this might hold too much water and cause root rot. Pots that are too small, on the other hand, can cause roots to compress, which means your succulents won't be able to grow as it is supposed to. So to keep your succulents healthy and growing, make sure to use a properly sized vessel. Ideally, the right size pot has a circumference that's about 10% larger than the size of your plant, or have no more than an inch or two of extra room around the sides. If the pot is 10 inches or smaller, if the current pot is more than 10 inches, pick one that is two to three inches bigger in diameter. In addition to that, you should also consider the depth and length of the plant, as too deep or too tall will most likely contain a massive amount of soil or retain moisture more than your plant can handle, which can be really harmful to their health. Pots are available in various materials. Our most commonly recommended ones for succulents are pots that are made out of either terracotta or ceramic. Both of these are porous and breathable, promoting proper water drainage and air circulation for your succulents. It is super important since succulents are more sensitive to water than normal house plants, so it's important to have a good pot. Besides, ceramic and terracotta containers are really charming, making them look great for small succulents. For large plants, especially those you need to move around quite frequently, Pots made from resin or plastic are great for them since these pots are a lot lighter and much less fragile than terracotta and ceramic and usually comes with a cheaper price. There are also pots made in woods and this is a type that conserve moisture and stay cooler in sunlight. Metal ones however develop rust over time and therefore are not suitable for your plant's well-being. And lastly, containers made out of glass materials like vases and terrariums. This type of pot is usually not recommended for succulents as they are very fragile and not breathable. And most of the time don't have drainage holes. However, because of its transparency, allowing for the succulent to show off the beauty through it made it really popular. Plus, it is a great way to add lots of personality to any work or living space. When using glass containers, you should pick the open one and be very careful with how much you water your succulents. It's recommended that you use a syringe or a watering can with measurements. So that's it for today's topic. Hope you guys enjoyed and find this video helpful. See you again next time. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.